Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 3 Lore Throw. Um, I've acquired the uh, Katarina set. So I'm going to start out with this. Okay. Throw armor. <laughs> How's that? Until we meet again, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I love Rejoice too. No need to worry about me. With my trusty suit of armor. Tell me. Okay. <laughs> uh, I did get Patch's squad as well. Which I guess. So I want to put her in choice, and then I'll put Patches Squad. That's you know, that's essential. And then I guess this will be Wave. And this can be Dual Bow, Dignified Bow, and then this can be. Sleep. I do like. I guess we'll use curl up. So emotive. Uh, did that take? Did I need to buy the uh, pierce shield? I did not. Okay. Well, whatever. Um. So. Let us go to here and continue on. Oh, actually, Cirrus is here, and we should uh, at Firelink Shrine, so we should go talk to her instead. I spoke too soon. All right. Hello again. I have since heard a great deal about you. Good. For one, that you are most gentle of heart. I too am bound by duty, but can offer you my sign. I hear that cordial intrusion lays the path to Andrus. Mm. If I can be of help, by all means, do call upon me. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Dark moon loyalty. If you should acquire assistance, blessing of the moon. There it is. All right. All right. And I burn the other bone shard or whatever off camera. So we're all ready to go, I think. Um, we still have the rest of this area to explore. However, I'm just going to go through the door, um, and I'll come back around, uh, by getting those items up there. If you don't know what I mean, then just, uh, stick around for the ride. Although, I think the Nameless Knight set is here. Somewhere. Um, I just hope I didn't miss it over here. It might be here. Crab is still there. Yeah, I grabbed everything over there. I guess this is further down. Oh, I'll, I'll get. I'll go through everything. All right.
Oh, my uh, fan is on. I'm sorry. One second. Okay. I don't know how badly you could hear that or not, but I'll just turn it off. Okay. There's a sorcerer Corvian up here. It's hard to kind of get without hitting down. Okay. They drop shriving stones. Funny enough, there's a Shriving Stone right here. Alright. So, yeah. I don't think dropping down here gives us anything. So... Oh yeah, so basically there's dark wraiths here that start attacking the Corvians, although he's coming my way. We'll deal with those guys in a second. We're going to backtrack a little bit here. those two items. Then we can continue with the rest of the Fire and Keep. Nice. And let's take out this ravenous crystal wizard. nice and easy. Now we get great magic weapon whether we want it or not. And then this is where the Black Knight is and the Road of Sacrifices. So I guess it's a shortcut. I don't really know why it's there. Because there's a bonfire here and there's a bonfire there. There's no reason you would need to go to either. So all right but we're going to continue through Fair and Keep before we move forward. But I thought we would grab these two sorceries. Atonement, which I think is new. Hollow gem. Miracle given to those cast out from the Sable Church of Londor. Attracts more attention from foes. This is the only tale known by the exiles who believe it carries words of forgiveness. Cursed journeys, too, must ultimately come to an end. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, this is where Dusk's stuff was, the antiquated set. There's a lot of places to get caught in here. By... Okay. Um, I suppose we're gonna have to go this way first to grab everything else here. Got all that stuff. Don't think this uh, dinosaur sorcerer gives us anything. Oops, <laughs> I didn't even see that's what the, he was doing. Yeah, so I 
didn't think that gave you anything. Um, we checked over here, so the nameless stuff is not here. Maybe I grabbed it, I just didn't read it? Huh. Maybe it's just a completely different place. So yeah, we've been there. We just haven't been on this side. Yeah, get away. <sighs> so, who's that guy? Have we killed him before? shield again. We've gotten that. Oh, there's another one here. Oh. Not sure if we've been there. I mean, we definitely haven't killed that thing. Oh, I forgot the fact that we're gonna have to be coming in from here each time. Well, I'm gonna continue. Oops, I'm gonna continue back around first, and then we can go from there. Ugh, this is so bad. Please don't be anything in there. here because So one thing I haven't gotten, and I know like I'm back at the beginning here. Am I not embered? Oh, weird. Oh, because I died. Uh, I just died. <laughs> That's why. I didn't get a, the great sword. Okay, there's iron flesh. Pyromancy that internalizes flame, iron flesh boosts damage absorption. Not advisable for walking in marshlands, but perhaps resulting in its obsoles obsolescence in the Great Swamp. Yeah, that would be. Uh, iron flesh would be like moving like this everywhere. Ugh. I hate it. And then, yeah, we're back to the beginning here. So. Yeah, there's definitely a bunch of stuff we missed. I know we didn't get the great sword. Which 
which I know is around here somewhere. Sworn the nameless knight set was by the edge on the perimeter. Hmm. here the bin over there mm. I'm starting to kind of get to that place where I'm like I don't want to do this been passed there. Hmm. There's a great sword. Okay, and there's something else there. That's the great sword. Cloud Strife Sword. This ultra great sword with its thick blade is one of the heaviest of its kind. There would appear to be some credence to the rumors that the sword tested the true limits of human strength, and it uses stomp. Okay, there's my stuff. Great, I need that. Okay, so... I want to get that stuff. But I'm going to go over here. And get the one last shiny I saw. Nice. There. Maybe here? There's that crew I don't want to talk to. I know that's not the one I saw. Okay. Um, okay, let's see if I can... Yeah, let's just do this. Let's see if I can just attract this one guy. the move? I thought it was something different actually. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna be dead.
Okay, I'm gonna say that we're good. Because I'm good. I am not happy to do this again. So if I miss something, I miss something. Alright, so let us go to the Farron Key Perimeter. What are we doing on time? 20 minutes. 20 minutes of me rolling around. Oh. I guess I should have gotten the uh, dagger and then I wouldn't necessarily need to complain. Um, Londor Pale Shade. Is that really where that is? I thought it was up close to the door. Did they move it? Um, I'm going to do this whole thing and then we can figure out who we want to summon and do all that stuff. Because I kind of want to summon Londor based on the fact that, like, that's kind of the ending I want. And uh, I kind of do Cirrus because I'm trying to do her storyline. Ooh, yes, more embers. More deaths. So the best strategy here is to just go the side path here. And let these guys just fight each other. The uh, Dark Wraiths will take care of most of these guys, and the guys will damage the Dark Wraiths pretty well. If not kill one. Okay. Oh, that was vicious. See, I thought Plunder Pale Shade was there. Under pale shade, was that? Crack red eye orb. Crack red eye orb. Oops. Wish I had something better. Alright. Oh, black hand Goddard. Yeah, I don't need that at all. Um. You can hear them fighting. I wish you could see them fighting. Got all the swords stuck in the ground over here. So yeah, this is the Abyss, Abyss Watchers fight. Huh, where is Cirrus? She said you can summon me. Um, and that's Black Hand Goddard. We don't want him. I think I'm gonna do... Cirrus and Londor Pale Shade. Oh, is this a new area? What is this? Oh, it's the area above this area, huh? Okay. Maybe Cirrus is right here. I guess we'll get Goddard if we can't find Cirrus. I mean, I guess I don't know if you can do two phantoms in this game without the dry fingers. And then we get the dual bow. I think you also get something from Goddard, which is probably why I shouldn't. Summon Goddard. Look at that sword. 
The Londor swords are really cool. And one of the quest lines I want to do. Well, quest lines. I don't know. That's a generous name for it. But one of the sorry, one of the things I'm going to do will get me a Urius sword, which I really like. All right. Okay, so it seems like you can only have one for this fight, unless I use the dry finger, um, which I don't have. So we're gonna do this with the Londor Pale Shade. Hopefully, we have a dark hand. That's cool. I just love that they're eternally fighting each other. Human dregs is... That's really weird. I feel like I don't want to fight this guy. Because... I really want to get this guy's health down. People say that you can stun this guy really easily. And I guess he's stunning there, but he always seems to just break through it for me. Okay, good. I wish I could have the pale shade for one part of the battle and then remove him because this is the cool part of the battle for sure. Well, there I remember when I first played it, it took me quite a bit of time. I was like, imagine three pursuers at once. Eh, I don't know about that, but it's, it's a cool, intense fight. The fact that they fight each other is kind of, which I didn't really notice at the time. I was just like scrambling, panic rolling. So this is our first, uh, like, Great Soul, or Lord of Cinder, I guess. I guess I should mention that and just be like, wow. Okay, what are you attacking? Okay. flame that goes And that's that. Cinders of the Lord and Soul of the Blood of the Wolf. 
I hate in English when you have to do of the blank of the blank. Soul of the blood of the wolf. Okay, let's look at the soul of the blood of the wolf. Uh, the blood was spread amongst the best watchers, and their souls are one with the soul of the wolf blood master. And we have our first Cinders of a Lord, which looks like a bunch of the uh, Abyss Watchers. Cinders of a Lord left by the Abyss Watchers. If the Lords will not return to their thrones themselves, they will return as Cinders. The Watchers of the Abyss swore upon their shared wolf's blood, which also served as their mandate as Lords. Okay. Well, there's a lot of stuff to do back at Firelink. So let us do it. And I probably need to um, reconfigure my rings and such now that I'm out of there. Um, yep, 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 okay. There's a bunch that I want. I mean, I do... I do like, um, I mean, these are all for spells. I mean, I do like this, to be honest. I'll use that for now. I should do fashion souls at some point, too. Let's see if I can do something else. Okay, so yeah, it looks like Igon is actually shown his face. You offed the Lords of Cinder, the Undead Legion. So that's how they're delivered to their thrones. Mm hmm. <laughs> I pity the sorry souls. Is that really. Lordship's last reward. You put a lot of stock in these lords, dude. <laughs> ah, I failed to thank you for helping them find their final resting place. So yeah, I mean, I think you know he's a he's a legion himself, and I guess he has some compatriot, you know, camaraderie with them, or whatever. I pity the sorry self. And I guess we, quote, put them to rest. Reduces skill FP consumption. This is a good ring. A ring given to Undead Legion of Farron. Uh, the Abyss Watchers, for their hunting, required a sword technique that went beyond any existing art. Wolf's blood provided just that, and this ring further extends the effect. So I guess Wolf's Blood probably limits the FP in some way. And so this ring is extending that to a certain extent. I don't know. What's up, Igon? Yeah. Uh, I know you. It's been some time. Since we met in person. Mm hmm I just dropped in to see how she's getting on. Fine. Now, what are you playing at with this circus? This cesspool of doddering old folk and degenerates. Couldn't be better. She must fit in perfectly here. I guess he's mad that she didn't actually become a firekeeper. This place is a cesspool of doddering old could no hope for better. <laughs> okay. This place could fine. What do you think about it? Oh, champion, if you wish to hear a tale. Do I? Have, okay, I didn't get anything. Arena of Kareem. Okay. I'm going to need to buy all these. Including Tears of Denial. It's ten thousand. Yeah.
Three hundred for the Saints ring. You know, I'd have a pleasant journey. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna level up much for this. Uh, didn't get that. Didn't get any new scrolls. You're fine. I don't think I got anything uh, here. Wasn't he? Nope. <laughs> Maybe Grey Rat wants to leave now? Oh, hello again. You can keep Okay, up. I think I need to find Yurithil in order for him to Goodbye. <laughs> don't wanna leave. Okay, come on, Yuria. Give us some content. <laughs> Yul like collapses every time. Speak I desire, honorable lord of horrors. Um, do you happen to get anything new? Nope. Obek of the nine. Okay. Nothing new. Alright. Well, I mean, this isn't the most eventful of, um... Now in yeah, I don't think... I really don't think there's anything new there with him. Until we uh, join Rosaria's fingers. Okay. Alright. Okay. Wolf's Knight Greatsword, which looks like Artorias' sword. Great sword of a knight tainted by the dark of the abyss and master of the wolf's blood of Farron. The wolf knight was the first abyss watcher, and his sword is more punishing against creations of the abyss. Skill is wolf stance. While in stance, use normal attack for a low spinning slash or a strong attack to leap forward in a vertically slashing somersault. Yeah, so those are the notorious uh, moves. So yeah, it was it was descended from Artorias, but that wolf doesn't look like Sif any longer, and I like how they say that he was the first watcher of the Abyss, because like he tried to take back the Abyss from Ulusil, and I guess I mean, are we gonna say Ingward is another watcher of the Abyss? Like the people that flooded New Londo? Ingward and um the unnamed third one and then uh I want to say Yuria, but that's obviously not right. But there's another um, sealer that we know the name of anyway. Great Sword of the Abyss Watchers, which is a typical paired of uh, with an unusual dagger. The dagger is utilized as a wedge in the left hand, while the great sword is held in the right. A unique technique that was synonymous with the Undead Legion confounds foes in the manner of wolves hunting prey. Okay. Most illustrious Lord Seeker. Or should I say, Lord Slayer? You can say that. Fine kindling for the thrones, is it not? Each soul truly worthy of lordship. And all slain by thy hand. Well. To bind them onto their thrones. Only the one right now. Oh, I have no qualms. For as we are to our thrones, thou art. Thy duty. Maybe I'll just kill you. Methinks thou'st helped these poor lords along their rightful path. Ah. Now, now. Okay. Um, Patches wouldn't say anything new, would he? Do we get any more ashes? I'm just like, I can't remember. I like how when you get tomes, you get one that that she can get, but you have two that uh, Arena can't use, and the eager amongst you know those might give them to her in Corruptor, but we got to be patient because there's more tomes coming. Oh, hello again. Can't resist. Okay. Yeah, so nothing there. I like how he sells rubbish for two hundred dollars. I don't think he gets anything new throughout the game. Can't find anything you like. Oh, Wait, he usually has that horse ring. Did I miss it? Oh, I didn't read this. An old ring with a seal depicting a horse hoof. Unbreakable patches adored this ring. 
of the feeling that it gave him when he kicked his marks into the depths of treacherous traps, but suffered no shortage of ridicule from his associates for lying so heavily on the tired old trick. But who is the sorrier, the horse who knows only to kick, or the fool who approaches the old beast without thought? Can't find anything in mind. Well, you could try looking a little harder. Well, yeah, I mean, surprisingly enough, Batches becomes a very important character in the whole Dark Souls series. I mean, he's the only one that's been in every game. Um, okay, well, I guess let's level up if we can. Welcome home, speak very well, then take note. Uh... Still got to get a refined gem. And let's put everything away. Why do some things keep coming back into my... Oh, you know what it is? It's like if I have an item and I'm out of it when I rest at the bonfire. So like I put that Sigbrow in there. And I don't have it. But then when I come in and sit down, it's like it refills... I see. Uh-huh. So I actually can't get rid of this stuff. Whatever. That's fine. I'll just stick to getting rid of... I'll just get rid of everything for now until I start using miracles. I suppose I should do that for this too. And I suppose I can get rid of that. If I go farm, I'll just use it then. Okay. Perfect. Alright, well I think that'll be it for this episode. And next time, I guess we're going to explore the Catacombs of Carthus. There's nothing else really to do. I mean, there's some loose ends building up, but uh, I'm going to save those for a big episode. So, Alright. We'll see you next episode. Thanks. Bye.